and welcome to another Agate Bay video. Uh, I'm Joshua and I'm here today to show you a little bit the differences between Jasper and Agate. So I would say the main difference between uh, Jasper and Agate is that Agate is always in some sort of way banded. That's also what separates just Chalcedony from Agate. Agate is defined as having bands. Chalcedony usually means it's like a clear layer um, where it has a lot of translucency. Agate um, on top of that means that it has to have some banding, but Jasper is always a like a intranslucent or opaque uh, material. Other than that, it all has the same kind of um, microcrystalline structure, but one of the main differences is that Jasper in most cases is not even banded. So there's only a few locations in the entire world where banded jas jasper can appear. I would say my most favorite and one of the most famous locations um, are the Royal Imperial jaspers coming from Mexico, but there's also banded uh, jasper types coming from Morocco, Germany, uh, United States has a couple very famous uh, banded jaspers. But today I brought some Royal Imperial jasper with me to show you the differences. And one of the main differences also when cutting the material um, is that the jasper doesn't need a lot of depth to form the banding. So you can have a very uh, slim agate no jasper nodule um, and you still can have a lot of uh, banding because the jasper uh, can have very thin layers of the banding uh, which can be uh, stacked on top of each other and you don't need a lot of volume in the stone to create the banding. While the, the agate bands, they seem to need more volume. They have only the ability to create a lot of banding uh, when they also have a certain amount of depth. So for example, agate nodules, they need to have uh, a very round shape compared to if it was flat, it would not have a lot of banding. I mean, always also for the jaspers and agates, it's the case that, that you cut, should cut the piece through the very center to get the most banding out of the specimen but um, that's, I would say, the main difference in terms of what you have to take care of when cutting these, that, uh, for example, if this was a pair, um, that if you cut it like this, it would have a lot less interesting banding versus if you cut it like this, because it still has the ability to create a lot of these um, bands. One of the main differences as well is, is that you can see, even though the jasper in these pieces is actually banded, the banding is not going uh, layer by layer all around, but in the jasper it can also be overlapping. So sometimes it looks like flowers or some kind of um, white structures. Sometimes you will find egg pattern. Like in, in this piece, for example, it almost looks like a subterian because there were some stress fractures here in the center of the piece, which then have been later recrystallized with tiny quartz uh, crystals in the center of the specimen. But um, that's the difference in terms of the banding that with the jasper most of the times it will be overlapping banding and not going circle by circle uh, around each other while the agate bands they will never be overlapping they will just go band by band by band by band and a lot of the royal imperial jaspers that you are cutting they can also be fill filled with uh, only very little visible banding like in this piece for example this is one of the more subtle banded pieces where you can only uh, see the bands very lightly some of the specimens they will not be banded at all. They may only be covered uh, then with an entire nodule with this kind of white, uh, very lowly silicified areas. And um, when you hit some really good pieces like these, then you can get an amazing variety in colors uh, in bands like these pieces are shown. And in Jasper, there's also, uh, as you can see, a large variety in colors ranging from gray to brown, red, burgundy, green, sometimes even slight blues. But the variety in color intensity in agates is usually a bit higher than, when, than what you can find in, in Jaspers. If you're curious uh, to get some of the, these pieces for your own collections, make sure to check out my website where I have a large amount of specimens, specimens available both uh, for agates and also this specific, specific very beautiful type of Royal Imperial Jaspers from Mexico. Uh, I think they're so unique and they're a ton of fun when you cut these pieces and I really enjoy uh, working with these specimens. So make sure to check out my website. Let me know which one of these pieces is actually your favorite and if you prefer agates uh, over Jasper in general or if you're more uh, the Jasper type of collector. Subscribe to the video if you want to see more of my content and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.